Hey, I wanted to show a demo for the flipped classroom on fragments. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to give you a particular sort of uh, layout here. I think what you get in your flipped classroom might look slightly different just because uh, I have this take a picture button that I uh, um, disabled for the purposes of this flipped classroom. I'll probably just take that out. But what we have here is four different uh, images. Every image, when you click it, it expands to take up the whole screen. And if you click anywhere else, it disappears. Click on it, it disappears. Or doesn't disappear, it sort of kills itself, as you'll, you'll come to understand. Also, if you click the back button, it gets back to the original list. If you long click one of the items, the list permutes. So it changes order, although there's no duplicates. Um, and again, when I go back, I want to make sure that what I'm displaying is the permuted value, not the original value. So as you come to understand what's going on in the Flip Classroom, you'll understand what that means a little bit more, but you want to make sure that you have uh, one fragment, which is controlling the screen, and it uh, displays your images in a particular order. Uh, you can blow up a particular image to take over the entire screen, and then you uh, kill that fragment and get back to the, the fragment that you had. You don't want to stack a new fragment on top. That's, that's really the, the thing we're looking to avoid doing. And that's it. So that's your flipped classroom activity. Have fun.